so it's the day after the race and I've had a bit of time to reflect on it and process it and come to terms with it or whatever you want to talk about. But in short, the weekend in general was a success and not just on my part, on our athletes part for entire coaching. So it was really good to see so many podium places across the board throughout the ranks and uh, yeah, including myself I think it was when I break it down, a good performance and I was, I was pleased with it in, in the grand scheme of things. So I think that whole ability to go through the race motions and the processes and, the, and just everything to do with that whole race scenario was really good to just get to grips with because I haven't done it in over 18 months for goodness sake and it's just the small things like setting up transition, getting to the venue on time, warming up at the right times and all these little intricacies that you don't think about when you're just training. Not only that, just going through the race itself and learning to race and not just be het up with your numbers or your heart rates or powers or anything like that and just go out and race. I was definitely subjected to a little bit of kind of holding back, looking at the numbers, etc, etc, rather than just kind of winging it and going for it. That being said, I was pretty much performing to what I thought I was going to be able to do. Uh, at the end of the day, it just wasn't quick enough or good enough to win the whole thing. Um, Sam Wade did really well and uh, managed to pull out all the stops, raced superbly to be able to take the win. And I was a bit surprised. I thought I was going to be able to mix up at the front and actually be involved. <sighs> I'm an athlete. You can't help but want more. But at the end of the day, I think Taking into consideration last week, I wasn't having the best week at all, uh, lack of sleep, etc, etc. A bit emotional leading into the race, just not used to it and other factors. Taking all of that into consideration, I did okay. And I've got to be pleased with how I did and happy that I got to race. And it's a race. Like, it's been over 18 months and we've got to race. It's the morning of the race and um, yeah, just trying to chill out. It's quite a nice day, it's quite cold and I think uh, it's going to be pretty chilly at the Chili Duathlon. Bit of a stretch. But yeah, I'll, I'll just take arm warmers and stuff like that. It should be fine. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I've become quite excited about it. I'm not really nervous now. It's just going through the motions and I'm quite looking forward to it. up ready to go and just going to chuck my bag in the car just been told by Marshall that I've only got 25 minutes left so I should probably get a move on get a shuffle on and then yeah get going on to the first race start of two days Chile Duathlon first six guys are away so seeded the fastest guys first so these should be the guys at the sharp end of the race all being able to race together some way than Alex Doherty in this group. And they're heading off for their one perimeter lap. Sam and I went off the front on the first run. Uh, I couldn't stick with him, or maybe I could have done, I don't know, but I didn't. Chose not to, I thought, uh, if I go with this pace, I might blow up on the rest of the race. Don't know whether it was right or not. I think in hindsight, I probably should have just tried to go with it. But the fact of the matter is, I didn't. I thought I was gonna blow, parked, 
moving on. Got onto the bike, I thought in my head that I was going to be of a similar speed to Sam or maybe be able to drag him back a little bit, but I just, I just couldn't. He rode away from me, put 35 seconds into me maybe over the course of 10 miles, so yeah, like, I thought I was strong enough, but he's just much more used to the aerodynamic position, uh, he's probably a little bit more accustomed to being a little bit more aero, which is definitely something to note, like, you can have all the power in the world, but if you're not fast, then it doesn't count for much, I guess. Uh, I mean, it counts for something. He just rode better as well, in terms of riding the course. I'm just not that practiced with doing that. Reflecting on that, reflecting on the whole process, it was very useful. I'd probably want to do another race before uh, my official kind of non-drafting season in Finetli kicks off, but we'll see what happens, whether or not I actually get to do that. I do think that doing a race like that really opens up the systems, puts you in a place that you don't go to in training, and that then boosts you to a next level again. So I think it would be really useful to get get another couple of races or another race at least before my uh, official start of the season. Yes. So I started off this week again, just slotted back into normal training. I haven't done a hard bike session on Monday. I'll just spin easy around uh, the track and go and chill out with the guys uh, whilst they do a session like I did on Friday with the run. And after that, just go back into normal training Tuesday onwards. Yeah, all in all, good weekend. Uh, happy with it and looking forward to racing again, basically. Uh, yeah, th th thanks for watching. Ho hopefully that was a half decent insight into what went on over the weekend. If you want to carry on watching the process to the first proper triathlon of the year, uh, do subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you can keep reminded of when I upload a video. I'll keep you updated as to what we get up to week in, week out and the progress that we make. Thanks for watching, hope to see you next time.